Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Summer here to go over system of equations substitution word problems. In this lesson, students will be able to solve a system of equations word problems. So that should be system of equations word problems using substitution method. So here is an example of a question. Solve the following system word problem by substitution. At the school carnival, the soccer team sold hamburgers and hot dogs. A person buying one hamburger and one hot dog will spend $17.65. The soccer team sold 22 hamburgers and 39 hot dogs and made $511.55. How much does each item cost? So if we recall from our graphing word problems, the first step of all word problems is to write down what you know. So what do we know here? We know that there, a person buying one hamburger and one hot dog will spend this amount of money. We also know that they sold this many hamburgers and this many hot dogs and made this much money in total. So then I can write those in equations. I can write down what I know or what I know. I know that cost of one hamburger plus cost of one hot dog is equal to $17.65. Then I also know that 22 times the cost of a hamburger plus 39 times the cost of a hamburger or 39 times the cost of a hot dog equals 511 and 55 cents. So step two is to define my variables. I'm saying let X equal the cost of hamburger. Let Y equals the cost of hot dog. You can use any variables here. Um, I just use X and Y for the most part because that's just how I was trained. But you can use a hamburger, like you can use H, or you can use a D for dog, anything that makes sense to you. So step three is to rewrite what you know in terms of your variables. So in terms, for me, in terms of X and Y. So X plus Y equals $17.65. And then 22X plus 39Y is equal to $511.55. My next step is solve one of the equations for one variable. I'm going to pick the top equation. I'm going to pick this equation to, oops, this equation to solve because I don't have to divide by anything. And when I do, I get x plus y equals 17.65. So x is equal to $17.65 minus y. My next part step is to insert the answer from step four into the other equation. So I'm going to insert this into this equation. So where I see an X, I'm going to put in 1765 minus Y. So I have 22 times the quantity of $17.65 minus Y plus 39Y equals $511.55. Now, I fully anticipate you using a calculator in order to like do all of this math. I don't expect you to multiply 22 times 1765 by hand. So then step six is to solve that equation. So I have 22, I have that original equation. When I distribute that 22, I have $388.30 minus 22y plus 39y equals $511.55. When I combine my like terms, I get $388.30 plus 17y equals 588. 17y, when I subtract that $388.30 from both sides, I get 17y is equal to $123.25. And so my y equals $7.25. My next step is to substitute my answer into the equation from step four. So I'm gonna take th this answer here and substitute it in to this equation. 
And I'm doing that way because I need to find out what X is. I already solved for X in step four. So it's the easier way to um, solve. You could easily put it into this equation, but um, I choose to put it into the one where I've already solved for X. So in doing so, X equals $17.65 minus Y. X is equal to 17.65 minus 7.25. X is equal to $10.40. Step eight, answer the question or questions being asked. So it's asking, how, the question being asked is, how much does each item cost? So the cost of hamburgers is X because we defined it over here. We defined our variables over here. And so... The cost of a hamburger is X. X is equal to $10.40. So hamburgers cost $10.40. The cost of hot dogs is Y. Y is equal to $7.25. So the hot dogs cost $7.25. Here's a different example. Solve the following system word problem by substitution. The length of a rectangle is 3 centimeters more than 3 times its width. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 46 centimeters, find the dimensions of the rectangle. So what is step one? Write down what we know. I know that the length is three times. So I know that the length here is three centimeters more, so more is plus, than three times the width. So remember when we did those um, expressions to words and words to expressions back in quarter one this is why and then it says if the perimeter is the rectangle is 46 centimeters find the dimensions so you have to recall how to find the perimeter the perimeter of a rectangle you have length and length width and width so it's 2l plus 2w equals your perimeter Okay, so I wrote down my length is equal to 3 times the width of the rectangle plus 3, and then 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals 46. Second step is to define your variables. In this case, I just chose to say let L equal length and let W equal width. Step 3 is write what you know, in this case, in terms of L and W. So L equals 3W plus 3. 2L plus 2W equals 46. Step 4 is solve one of the equations for one variable. One of our equations is already solved for a variable. We've already solved this one for, um, for or the L is already solved for us. So I have L equals 3W plus 3. So then... Step five is to insert your answer from step four into the other equation. So I get two times the quantity of 3w plus 3 plus 2w equals 46. Step six is to solve the equation from step five. So I have that equation. I have this. I'm going to combine my like terms. I'm going to subtract six. And I'm going to divide by eight. And I get w is equal to five. My next step is... Substitute your answer into the equation from step four. So that was my equation from step four. And then L is equal to three times five plus three. L is equal to 15 plus three. L is equal to 18. Step eight is answer the questions being asked. The length of the rectangle is L. L is 18 centimeters. You have to use the units when they give you units, okay? Remember, I'm a science teacher too. When it, word problems, when it gives you units, you got to give me units as in your answer. The length of the rectangle is 18 centimeters. The width of the re rectangle is W. W is equal to 5. So the width of the rectangle is 5 centimeters. So and now I want you to try this word problem. Here is the solution to this word problem, the, your, the you try word problem. 
Make sure to pause and take your time. If you need help, come into our live session so I can explain this. But this is the work. Pause it. Make sure your work is um, correct. Here's another you try problem. And here's the answer, the solution to the last you try problem. 